the silent night An endless fall Like cuts from a thousand knives I hear you call But I'm still stumbling in the dark A silent howl As I dissolve into your arms Away Okay, so the first stage of the Corsair invite only DDR5 overclocking competition is now over. Uh, I actually started this whole uh, session on last Saturday or Sunday, only like three or four days before the end of the stage one. And the stage one has been uh, online for like uh, almost two weeks now. I think it's somewhere around like two weeks per stage. So uh, I did start late, but I actually managed to do some very competitive scores in the end. Luckily, it was very hard. Uh, the hardest part about getting these memories high was uh, to find the best possible uh, sticks out of the four sticks. So I actually uh, mixed both of the kits together in the end. So one stick from each kit. Uh, when it comes to these Hynix DDR5 sticks, you need to bin the temperature as many of the sticks start failing already like after like minus 110 to minus 120 or even minus 100 degrees celsius and you need to bin the voltage tolerance many of these sticks cannot handle any more voltage than 1.55 to 1.6 so uh, these two sticks that i used in the end for the best possible runs uh, could do i think they could cold boot bug or they did have cold boot bug somewhere around like minus 120 to minus 125 and they could go as cold as minus 145 so very good uh, sticks overall and the voltage scaling ended somewhere around 1.72 to 1.73 if i set over 1.75 like 1.78 i always hang a debug code of 62 or 60 so something like this so very good results overall and i'm, I'm and i'm extremely happy that i got this good imc on this retail 12900k i actually ordered this brand new uh, retail 12900k last week just for this uh, uh, competition so uh, you cannot use engineering sample uh, hardware for this uh, uh, competition so you need to use a retail cpu and you need to use a bars that's available for the motherboard so i use the latest retail bars of 1.07 for the z690 kimpin so you can easily find that bars model from the evga downloads website so uh, you don't need any engineering sample bars for the best possible performance so uh, pretty good if you ask me and uh, yeah so just make sure you insulate the motherboard really really well so as you can see there are there's a lot of snow directly at the vram area the uh, one capacitor directly at the uh, io ports so the ps2 and usb was completely frozen and also some of the caps next to the 24 pin were also frozen and uh, the uh, bows flashback port over there is completely frozen as well so pretty good if you ask me so uh, 
yeah, so all of these scores will be available on hardware or they will be uh, visible on hardwarebot.org. So check out the Corsair competition page. And uh, if you like to see this uh, video and these scores, and if you think that my videos are helpful for overclocking on new platforms and on old platforms, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well, and you can support me over there if you uh, like my work. And yeah, thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.